All right, I sold something on eBay and I, I needed to ship it in a box. And I had purchased this uh, a tuner and so I recycled the box that that came in because it was the same size as what I was selling. And so I was packing the new sale in the box and I noticed there was something extra in the box that I hadn't seen before. <laughs> Back kind of way down in the shipping material. Um, and it was this thing, <laughs> um, which kind of surprised me. I couldn't figure out what it was at first. It was this weird, it almost looks like a baby bottle. <laughs> it's kind of a strange. And uh, there was things rattling around there. I said, oh, okay. He used a bottle to protect whatever it was inside, right? As a shipping, shipping container. No, it's, this is an actual thing. Okay. Somebody made a dummy load. So it's got a PL259 on it. In fact, it's, it's a, it's a male, male adapter on it, which is nice. I like the name male, male adapter, but yeah, here's the, uh, here's the dummy load. It's got resistors inside. So I guess you don't get burned by it. And, uh, but the resistors just kind of waddle around in there and I am sure they get hot. It's going to burn, burn the plastic. So I'm not a big fan of this big fan of this design. Uh, yeah. Uh, I tried to open it up to see, <laughs> see what was inside. Cause it's got three resistors inside. It's a 50 ohm thing. So I don't know why you just don't put one 50 ohm in there. I guess you could put maybe two hundred ohms or yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. And they're all different sizes. Each one is different. So I've got to see inside this thing. But um, they decided that it was very important to make sure nobody takes the cap off. And they have like JB Weld, <laughs> JB Weld in the, in the threads. here. There's just no way I could take this apart. So let me, uh, let me go do some surgery on this and I'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll take a look inside. <clears throat> All right, I took it over to the bandsaw. I just kind of rotated it into the bandsaw. So uh, we can take the, there we go. How's that, huh? Oh, even even two colors of, uh, of electrical tape. God, I hate electrical tape. Um, so this nice green stuff. So I don't know why we need one on there, but okay, there's one there. And that wasn't even attached. That's why I hate this stuff as it always comes loose. Um, and then there's some tape, tape on this one. Uh, oh, there we go. All right. Uh, oh, they're in series. <laughs> Even better. So what's the weak link? How many, how many watts is the weak link? Uh, okay. We got a 20 ohm, a 10 ohm and a, you want to guess? I bet you it's 20. <laughs> I bet you it's 20. Uh, yeah, it looks like a 20. Mallory. Well, you don't see Mallory anymore. I see these. Sprague. Okay. Uh, this is the Dale. Okay. So we have a bunch of them. Sprague, Dale, and Mallory. And uh, yeah, not the, uh, not the best soldering for sure. And then, oh, wow. This is Fascinating, <laughs> totally fascinating. Um, inside here, it's completely black. It's like they filled it up with some kind of black paint and just swirled it around. Maybe that's why it's not JB Weld, it's just black paint. But why would you paint it? Why, what, what, why would you do that? It makes no sense. Um, and it's not paint. It's like a rubberized, rubberized conformal coating of some kind. It's really weird. I don't know what that is. I've never used that before. Anyway. Yeah, there we go. Like the world's worst dummy load. <laughs> uh, so let's see, this one's 10 Watts. I don't, I don't see any wattage on the other ones. But you can see how big this one is. This is 20 ohms. 10, I mean, at best, this is a 10 watt load, right? At best. So, yeah. But what a clever, uh, <laughs> what a clever design. Uh, raise your hand if you've built one of these. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think uh, these will go in my... Oh, oh, the wire just broke. Wire just broke. Okay. A uh, little stubby little length there, too. Okay, well, I'm, I'm maybe we'll salvage a couple of these resistors, at least the Mallory one and this one. That guy looks too short now. And I'll save the uh, male male connector. That's nice. And this thing is probably okay, except it's all black on the back. I'd probably throw that away. Um, yeah, can you see that? It's just nuts. Uh, I don't know what the guy was thinking. Oh, well. To each his own, right? It was definitely unique.